compliant, we're licensed, we're taxpayers. In fact, here's my next tax payment that I've collected from all these patients that are suffering from illnesses and they have to be paying an extra tax for. And again, we're compliant, we're licensed, we're taxpaying, we're H2C.org. This is MC11. They're all compliant as well. For some reason, the mayor has taken it upon himself in this town after the taxpayers and the citizens passed overwhelmingly to allow me and us into this town. In fact, they invited me personally. They then went about trying to raid us all out of existence, but we've stood in there for our patients, for myself. I'm a patient. I'm seriously ill. We need this product. We pay these taxes. We are good, honorable citizens, and we deserve to have our place that we've had, and our patients deserve the safety of our licensed and regulated places. If you guys want to cut out something that is hurting our community and hurting the people, cut out alcohol and cigarettes because medicinal marijuana is one of the most helpful things for pain and getting over stress and making people happy and it's not hurting anybody. It doesn't kill you. It doesn't hurt you physically. It'll put you to sleep if anything. I think it's the best thing for us over alcohol and cigarettes and all these other harsh drugs that the world accepts. We need to end Wall Street's war on marijuana. I myself suffer from an autoimmune disease disorder, psoriatic arthritis. Back in May 2013, my doctor put me on marijuana for the first time. I had been on Enbrel, Cortisone, Lidocaine, Prednisone, Desonate, Skyterra, Talcanex. I was 300 pounds. My liver and pancreas showed many signs of cancer entities. I had a high white blood cell count. The side effects I was suffering was horrible. Since using medical marijuana, I don't use any more prescription drugs, no more NSAIDs. I've got my weight down to 165 pounds. This is the healthiest I've ever been. You'd go ahead and take away our dispensaries, like they said, what are we going to do? Go to criminals on the street? No, we'd rather stay where it's regulated. It's completely in, in the ordinance of the law. And when you take away our right, that's like taking away our right to vote. We, we have been asking for reasonable regulation on the issue for three years. Uh, we don't want to be left alone. We don't want to be, you know, we want, we, we've been engaging the city uh, for, for as long as I can remember. And we're, we're willing to help with the cost too. We'll do whatever it takes. Um, but I, I don't believe that what they're presenting as, an op as, as their offer is, is reasonable in the least. Uh, I think it puts a lot of people out of their medicine and the city offers no, no way to get these people their medicine other than shady drug dealers on the street. Um, it, it, it is basically going to, in effect, ban all cannabis in Vallejo aside from illegal cannabis sold on the street. And that's not beneficial to the community or to medical marijuana patients or to the city of Vallejo because they're going to be losing out on millions in revenue. That's tyranny. That's not government. That's tyranny because the government is the people. And if the people have chosen to do something, they should respect that. Not only that the California people chose it, overwhelmingly over 60 percent throughout the whole state, there was not one county that did not approve medical cannabis in 1996. Vallejo voters approved it overwhelmingly, over 80%. They wanted 76%. They wanted the tax to fix our schools, fix our, fix our roads, and we don't know what's happening with that. If they should at least work with the people that are trying to comply because that's who they want in their city. People that want to comply, people that want to be under the microscope. And I think most of the Metro C dispensaries that I've worked with do want to comply, do want to be with the people. And they want to help their community. That's the reason why they're here trying to pay their taxes because they feel like they're part of the community of the, and if the community doesn't want to accept it, then that's like a huge loss because there's potholes in the streets that haven't been fixed. I know that the people in participatory budgeting would love that extra million bucks to go and spend it in whatever the people decide. And I think that should be the most democratic way to do it. I think 
they should give our money to participatory budgeting so that the people can decide what to do with it. My name is James Anthony. I'm an attorney and political consultant working with the Measure C-11, the uh, Vallejo Medical Cannabis Dispensaries that were open prior to the 2013 moratorium and who have been paying the 2011 10% gross receipts tax uh, throughout that time period and until today uh, when we will be going downstairs to proffer our payment of tens of thousands of dollars to the city of Vallejo which the cashier's office has been instructed by the mayor to reject. So that's why we're here today. Uh, like the mayor and the city council, we in the medical cannabis movement want a better, safer, and more prosperous Vallejo. We really want to help Vallejo continue on the positive track that it's on. Now the mayor seems to have the idea that somehow medical cannabis is harmful for Vallejo when in fact the exact opposite is true. Medical cannabis helps Vallejo. It helps sick people, helps working people, it provides over 150 full-time jobs in the city of Vallejo, and it provides millions and millions of tax dollars to the city to fix city streets, to pay police and fire and other city workers, to prevent crime, to improve schools and parks, to keep the lights on in this city. What Vallejo should be doing is working with medical, medical cannabis, not against us. Medical cannabis in Vallejo is your friends, your family, and your neighbors. We know that the mayor is sending undercover police into dispensaries to buy cannabis to prove that we sell it. What a waste of tax dollars. Of course we sell it, just like CVS sells penicillin. Only cannabis, of course, is safer than penicillin. Good afternoon. In October 07, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had two different types of cancer in one breast. After a bilateral mastectomy, I was prescribed different types of drugs to use, non-nauseous medication, pain medication. However, I didn't use anything but cannabis. Cannabis is why I'm here today. It gave me an appetite. It gave me a nice disposition. We need cannabis. If cannabis is not in Vallejo, where do sick patients go? We urge the mayor to please keep cannabis in Vallejo. There are patients like myself who do not want to go outside of Vallejo. And cannabis is needed for cancer patients and other patients. Thank you. Be blessed. Actually, I just have a question for the mayor and the council. Uh, when I found out about this, I went online, watched the video of the last council meeting where it happened, and then I wrote some emails that I found on the website, council website, to all the council members and the mayor asking them some questions about what their intentions were. Because I naturally have concerns. I spend most of my life in pain, and the only thing that really works well is cannabis products. So. I just asked them what their intentions were, and I, I admit I threatened them with some things like organizing a recall campaign and uh, making sure they didn't get elected again and coming to the meeting to ask my questions. I was a little surprised to have two police officers at my back door a couple of days later after I sent the last email asking me what my intentions were when I was going to go to the meeting. So I'm asking the mayor publicly to respond to that question. That's all. I just would like a response. Thank you, Ned. Okay, and, and we have, uh, thank you, Ned. We have uh, a, one representative, one of the dispensaries, just to show you the, the history of payment, the business licenses, the receipts. Uh, he could talk about them briefly, or if you want to get shots of the documents, uh, you know, when we're done here, uh, he can get you those close ups. Okay, how do you want to handle that? That's perfect. Um, so the city of Vallejo has voted to close us all and their claim is that we are not in compliance with the zoning. Uh, for three years plus we've been asking as a representative of the cannabis community for the city to provide reasonable regulations for us. Uh, they didn't until Measure C was passed by Vallejo voters with an overwhelming majority like you heard. Um, and when that was passed in order to pay our taxes we had to go through this application process which includes 
inspections by the planning division and the building division, which clearly then stated we are in compliance with medical marijuana dispensary. So, it, you know, the arguments that they have made have been facetious at best, um, and we have wanted to engage them, and we have engaged them, and we have gotten no response from them. Hi. Hi. A little late. <laughs> so, as I mentioned, we're just here to offer to pay the uh, medical cannabis tax. We've got about 10 dispensaries, about $50,000. Can we give that to you this morning? I can read you the... You know, what we've been instructed to read people by the city council. Would you like me to do that? Yes, please. Thank okay. you. As of January 13, 2015, the City of Vallejo City Council directed city staff to no longer accept medical marijuana monthly tax returns or any tax payments related to medical marijuana. In addition, the City of Vallejo will no longer issue new or renewal business license tax certificates for medical marijuana dispensaries. I do not have the authority to accept any payments or tax returns. Okay, so you can't accept the payment, and also if we wanted to renew the annual uh, business license, you're not authorized well, to renew that's it. What we read. That's, that's I what understand that. Given to us by city council. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate the service. Thank you for your public good service. Day. Have thank a good you. morning. Bye bye now. That's it. We tried to pay, and uh, apparently, you know, they won't, will not take the money. So uh, we're going to have to take it to the council, take it to the people, take it to the voters possibly take it to the street. Well, we shall see how this goes. Thank you so much. Thank you.